Not if you're working in draft mode and publishing the report, then it comes the, the concept of version history. Data Studio actually saves our progress as we make changes to the report and keeps and maintains a version history of the report. Accessing version history is easy. We can just click on file, version history, see version history, or if our report is in the um, publishing mode, we can also access it from here. So clicking on this drop-down menu, you see version history. I'm going to switch off the publishing mode. It is possible. You can switch it back to live if you need. And then I'm going to see the version history as well. And here we can see all the changes and different versions of this report that are available to us to restore to. What we can do is to click each one of these versions. We can see the time of the version, the person responsible for making the changes to that version. When the version, we are previewing it, we can actually go through different pages of the report to see how did that page look like at that time. So you can see that I might have started with another report that I had, and then at that time it had the previous pages, and then I got rid of those pages and added more pages to this report to create the report, this slides for this session. We can restore the version and it will be kind of the version that everyone sees. Another thing is that we can delete and this is not undoable, so it goes forever. And if there is any one of these versions that are interesting for us, we can actually rename it as well. Like interesting, or it's a milestone, or it's somewhere that we want to remember if you want to come back to, so that the last time that report was working properly. And uh, there, there are things to keep in mind in about version history as well. So what, one of them is that the version history for reports and data sources is maintained differently. So if you restore your report to a previous version, it doesn't necessarily restore your data sources to the previous version automatically, you have to do it as well manually. So it's by going to, again, the data studios home, looking at your data source, editing your data source, and close to where you can share your data source. You have this C version history for that data source, and you can see if you've made any changes to the field and calculated fields, etc. So right now we can see that I have this anything and calculated field in my data source here, but did I also have it in January? If I click on it, I can see that it's gone. So in January, I didn't have that calculated field in my data source. This is also something to keep in mind. Reports, data sources, they are different and the versions are different. When you do previous version and restore, does it restore everything between the current version and the one you chose? No, only that version. So if I go to see version history, and right now this is the current version with all the changes yeah. that I've made since June 1st, if I click on this one and restore this one, then it will basically bring this up and makes that one the current version that everyone sees. And if I go to version history again, I can see that this is now the new current version. I can rename it now to restored version. Okay, you? so maybe my question wasn't clear. So did that just restore that page that we are looking at right all now? The pages, did... All the pages. All the pages. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's all the okay. pages. Yeah. Is there a way to see what changed? No, it doesn't highlight the changes for you. But <laughs> okay. just you have to have the page ready and then click and just with your eye, you have to track the changes. Got it. Okay. Thank so, you. <clears throat> first.